My name is Dennis from ONGC and today we're going to be looking at how to use the Office Online suite included with Microsoft Office 365. As you're no doubt aware, Microsoft 365 includes desktop applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint and the general Office suite. But Microsoft also includes these applications as online web apps. This can be really useful for when you are working from home or a computer which does not have Office installed or potentially a mobile device. To demonstrate this, I'm here in my SharePoint environment and I'm simply going to open up a Word document. Now per my SharePoint settings, the document has gone ahead and opened in the online version of Word, but this could also be the case if I didn't have Office already installed on my computer. With Word Online, I have many of the standard Office and Word feature sets included. I can create new lines in the file, I can change the font, maybe make things bigger, change the text style or colours, highlights, bold, a lot of the standard features that I already have in Word on my computer. In most cases, this is going to be sufficient enough to consume files, maybe make minor adjustments, or even create some basic files from scratch. However, it's worth being aware that if your document has some advanced formatting, such as letterheads, indented images, or maybe some custom fonts, that they might not appear correctly in Office Online. In these instances, provided I'm on a machine that has Office installed, I might want to open this in my desktop application. And this could be done by selecting Editing along the top and Open in Desktop Application. What that's going to do again, as long as I've got Office already installed on my computer, is Microsoft Word's now popped up and I can continue working on this file. Make note that the, file, the edits and changes that I made in that Word Online platform have carried directly through to here. And this process would be identical for any of the other Office applications, such as maybe an Excel file. Again, it's opened in Excel Online here, and I could continue making some edits here, or again, opening in my desktop application if preferred. So far, we've looked at opening and editing documents that already existed within our SharePoint environment. But I could also come up to new, and I have the options to create new Office documents as well. Coming to Word document, again, will pop up Word Online, where I can begin making a new document. Note that there's no save button at the top, and that's because when working with Office Online or any of the online applications, the file's automatically saving in the background. You can see it's just gone ahead and done saved up there. If I wanted to change the name of this document, I could select the name across the top, currently document, and give it a new file name. And I can see where it's saved to, which is actually the SharePoint location we started this from. Again, because the file's automatically being saved, I could just hit the X now, and there's our new document straight away. And we've done that via the new menu across the top ribbon. However, I could also come to my App Launcher Waffle menu here, where I get a full list of all of the different Office apps. And from here, I could go to applications such as Word or Excel, PowerPoint, anything that's included in my Office description with the Office Online application. So I hope you've been able to see how simple it is to work with Office documents within SharePoint. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to catch you again next time for another training video.